going to hell. Keep on going to go down. Keep on going. What is up? Welcome back to another week of predictions. We are on week 12 of college football dying. Week 12! Let's get it! But before we get into the matchup of college football this week, and who's gonna win, who's gonna lose, what's a good game, what's not a good game, let's do some housework. If you are new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I post because you do not want to miss any upcoming upload. So stay tuned. Comment down below if you are ready for another football weekend. And also, I'm going to add one more thing. Comment down below what type of video do you want me to film? And I will try to do a poll on my social media via Instagram um, about. What do you guys want to see during Vlogmas? And starting, and then after Vlogmas, starting January 1 in 2020, what do you want me to do? Leave your discussion down below, guys. I have some ideas, but I'm always open for more ideas to, for you guys to enjoy. So, with that being said, let's get this going with the very first matchup of the week, which is Colorado State. So Wyoming, and after they are playing tonight, Friday, um, so they're going to be the pitching off team for the college football weekend. And honestly, I think Wyoming's going to win, but Colorado State's going to make it a little hard for them to blow them out. But I think Wyoming's going to find a way to win. Then we head into tomorrow action, so let's go. Or should I say today, because this video is going up tomorrow. So, first game for tomorrow, we got BYU and UMass, University of Massachusetts. You know, this is an interesting game, but you know what? I have, I have a, I have a winner in my mind. I think BYU is gonna get another win in their win column. So, BYU makes me proud. Then we head into East Carolina versus Connecticut. Wow, East Carolina versus Connecticut. Now this is gonna be a slow game. Slow game, good game, tight game. This can go, go down to either team, but you know what? I think East Carolina can win or come out on top. But it's going to be a good game. Then we got University of Central Florida and they're playing Tulane. I'm sorry Tulane, but I'm going to have to go with Central Florida with the W. Then we got Michigan State playing Rudel. I Rudel's good, but Michigan State is just a little bit better. I think Michigan State's gonna pull out a W this week. Alright, then we go into Kansas for Iowa State. And what thing to learn about this? Iowa State is playing really good this year. So is Kansas, don't get me wrong, but Iowa State is doing really, really well. I have to say, every tour in Iowa is doing really well right now. I'm thinking Iowa, that Iowa State is gonna win. So. I would think they'll win, boys. Then we got Liberty versus Virginia. I don't know, Liberty is good. Virginia is good. I don't know, I kind of want to see an upset, and I kind of want to see Liberty pull out a W against Virginia. Liberty, make me proud. Pull out an upset. Then we got Ball State versus Kent State. What? Never heard of Ball State. Where is that? I'm gonna win low if you know what that is. I think Kent State's gonna win this week. Just because I had, don't know who is Ball State. 
I didn't get the next one. We got Oklahoma State Boston West Virginia. This is gonna be a third one, but I think West Virginia is gonna come out on top. Then we got Minnesota for Northwestern. This is gonna be a good smash up. Not gonna lie. Minnesota is still really good. Northwestern is average. Like, not good yet, but not bad. They're in the middle. So, if Northwestern come out tomorrow on Saturday with a freaking unbelievable game plan, they could beat Minnesota. But they come out flawed. And then we got the name of the week that I look forward to. White, white, white. We got... I, I don't even know who the hit. We got Western Carolina. And they're going up again. Alabama. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. And you know I know what I'm pitching. Roll Tide got to get the W this way. They have to. There's no way. Even though we're out. We don't have our starting quarterback. We can still find a way to win this game. Potentially even blowing them out. And to all my haters who don't like Alabama, I see you. I see you. I see you. You, you know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. I see you. I see you. Stanford and Auburn. You know, I really don't like Auburn. But I don't know who Stanford is, so I'm thinking Auburn is probably gonna do that with W. Damn it! Stanford, why can't you be good fellows? Then we got Penn State, a defense, going up against Ohio State. Ooh. Now this is the game of the week, White Hill. White Hill. The game of the week. Now, if I had to digest this game on who's gonna win and who's gonna lose, I'm gonna say it's gonna come down to one point. Possibly two. It's not gonna be a blowout on either side. Oh no, no, no. Even though Ohio State is higher than Penn State, but not much higher. So, and you know Penn State is good at defense. I tell them about Penn State to get an upset here. But it's gonna be a good game either way. It's gonna be a fantastic game right here. Then we got Illinois for Iowa. Iowa's gonna win. Just because they're doing amazing, just like Iowa State did. I don't know. I think Iowa just had a meeting over at the office and just like, we're gonna come out this year, we're gonna play the football. And that's what they did. Then we got Boston College Boston Notre Dame. This is gonna be a good game, but I kinda have to go with Notre Dame. Just because how they play the football game every week, I think they gonna win. Then we got App State versus Texas State. Ooh, App State blew out their opponent last week. Texas State is an all white opponent. I think they gotta dip this to App State just because of how well they played last week. So if they played that well this week, touch the state and say bye bye. Then we got the Mustang going up against the Navy. Mustang's gonna have a tough week because the Navy is a one competitive football team. They are one. Um, they know how to play football. They definitely do. I think I gotta dip this to Navy. Then we got the Georgia Bulldog with the Tessie A and M. And this is gonna be another good game to pay attention to. Like this is gonna be a game to pay attention to y'all. If you want a good game, watch this right here. Everybody's probably expecting Georgia to win because they're higher. But you know what? This is gonna be a good game. Both of these teams are good. 
I kind of want to see an update. I kind of want to see Captain Harry and Emsu beat the Bulldog. Let's do it. I have faith in you, Captain Harry and Emsu. Let's do it! Then we got Michigan in Indiana. Now, Michigan is not been doing that great the past couple of weeks. They're not doing the horrible, but they're not ending their game the way they should end a football game to maintain a winning game. So I think if Michigan play like that, I think Indiana have a chance to win. But it's gonna be a good game. Good matchup. Then we got Purdue and Wisconsin. Well, 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 look at him. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win and what it's gonna be like? Honestly, I think Purdue have a potential on winning, but just looking at how well Wisconsin's been doing this season, I think Wisconsin's gonna win. Then we got Memphis posted South Florida. Now, you know how I love Florida. And you also know Florida's really good at football. I don't know, I think they're gonna give this to South Florida over Memphis. But, it's not gonna be an easy win. It's gonna be an ugly win, but I think they can do it. Then we got Temple versus Cincinnati. Temple? All, all of Temple win are coming out of a really good football team. So Temple could win there. If Cincinnati don't show up, I think Temple could win there. But in reality, I might have to say Cincinnati takes a W, but I would like to see a Temple making up that. Then we got Austin Star and LSU. LSU is the one who beat Alabama. So, just by that, I kind of want Austin Star to make an upset as an LSU. But can Austin Star do that? Who knows? I don't know. It's going to be a challenging game if they want to come out with a W. And Take down LSU. But shame on you, LSU. You don't tell me to beat my team. Then we got Oregon versus Arizona State. And honestly, I think I know who's gonna win this one. I think Oregon's gonna win. Then we got Oklahoma versus the TCU Horn Frog. Horn Frog. What kind of football team is named after Horn Frog? That's so weird. But anyway, I think Oklahoma's gonna win this one. Yeah. Oklahoma's gonna win this one. Then we got Utah versus Arizona. Now this is a great game to watch tomorrow night, guys. If you wanna watch a football game, because you're bored, or you wanna bet money on it one, wait right here. Even though I think I know who's gonna win. I think Utah's gonna win because they're playing a very good football this season. And then we got Boise State versus Utah State. Whoa, now this is gonna be another good game to watch. Both of the teams are playing very good football this year. Like, this is going to overtime. This is end in a tie. Like, I don't know. This is a tough one. I want to say Boise State, but also I want to say Utah State because they're just playing good football. But I think I gotta go with my gut and say Boise State. But I do want to see a very good game out of this. And I know we will. Next one we got is Nevada. And then Fresno State. I think uh, Nevada's gonna win this one. So, yeah. And then the last game of the Tallest Football Weekend, we swell. We end with San Diego State versus Hawaii. Ooh. Ooh. You know, I think it's going to be a good slow game. 
But I think Hawaii is going to come out on top by two. That's going to be a great way to end the day and uh, end the week, college football week, then it's right there. So, with that being said, die. That is your week 12 college football tradition in the book. Now, let's go on and watch these football games and communicate with on them. What you thought, what you not thought, you know, all that. And with that being said, let's get right into this. That is all for today, folks. But before we leave, and before we do the random damn thing, Get a high buck for this week well football weekend. Let's get right in. Die by your magic moment. You are working. Believe in yourself. Put that mindset saying you can do anything you want that you can. And just enjoy life. Just go out to enjoy. Make sure you're happy. Make sure you're happy. Or find those people that make you happy. That's even better. And with that, let's get into this random dance and just get our high spot for college football. So, we will see you on the other side. The other side.